Good morning, my fellow YouTubers. I'm coming to you with another, um, with another tutorial. And this one is actually a uh, pretty much darker look. You really can't see it, but it's blue, black, and like a silverish white. I fell in love with it. It's on my computer, my other computer. So yeah, that's the look I'm going for today. I really wish I could see it. Like, really, really. Here it just looks all black, but there's blue in there. Black and blue, white look like it's a shimmery white, but I'm going to probably just put silver in the place of that white. So today I'm still going to be using my Coastal Sense palette. And a little bit of things from like Sephora or Elf. Um, I'm not going to make it look that dark because it's still daytime. So, definitely not going to be that dark. Just trying to get this stuff situated. Hope y'all enjoyed my tutorial from yesterday. I had a lot of fun making it. And everybody loved that look. Everybody loved it. Okay, so I'm just gonna start off with my concealer. I did my eyebrow eyebrows already. Let me take concealer, guys. Bronze too. Love this stuff. With my white cold pencil. And I'll just do this to have a pop of color. Just to make my color stand out a bit more. Remember to sharpen your tools before you use them, especially if it's a new cold pencil. Any pencil like this, sharpen it before, that's how you get some set. Okay. Um, I'm also going to put a little bit of Mary Kay Primer on, just so the color is thick a little bit more. I'm just going to use my finger for that. I got any in this.
I'm gonna start with the blue. It's gonna be a dark blue from the Coastal Scent 42 Double Pack Blush palette. I'm gonna use that blue right here on my lid, and then I'm gonna go into the black right here for the crease. Then I'm gonna go into the silver right here for the highlight in the bottom of my eye. So this is gonna be fun, guys. Let's get started. I get excited when I'm trying this stuff. I'm looking for my little flat brush. If you guys have your your um focuses palette. I know you're just as in love with it as I am. I am in love with this palette. Like, in love with this palette. This is just a flat brush. And this came with my Coastal Scents palette. How awesome is that? Look at that blue. <laughs> Gorgeous blue. Gorgeous blue. I'm just bringing it out. Make a little wing. You always have to put your own flair on things, especially if it's like an inspirational thing. Always put your own flair because you don't want it. You don't want stuff to look exactly like other so try to put your own little spin to it now, as you can see I don't like slide my thing on I kind of like dab it on I don't slide my eyeshadow on I kind of like dab it on just so that I know that I'm getting that right blue or whatever color I'm using I want that that color and I don't want it to look like something else I want it to look like the color I'm putting on that's why I dab it on to get the the right consistency that I'm looking for I'm going to go in with a blending brush and try to blend that line out. I'm going to blend that line out. You don't want that line to be there. Remember when you're going through your black. Small little like real light dap your black because the black is gonna be dominant and you don't want your black to be dominant, you don't want it to take over the blue, you want that blue to stand out as much as possible. So make sure you um just lightly put that black on there. For my black I'm gonna use a fluffy angle brush. I look like that because that's my ringtone. My phone, so I'm like, my phone. And this goes right in your crease. Now, this is a very simple look. Be perfect for like going out because it's like a little dramatic. Now to tone down this black, 
just put a little silver tone on it. First of all, I'm going to just put a little silver tone on it. I'm going to use like a fluffy, little fluffy brush. A little fluffy brush. I'm going to get some silver and put it like right in the middle, right there. I don't want this black to be like so dark. Then I'm gonna go in with my flat brush, which is totally the way. My flat brush, totally out of whack. I'm gonna go in with that light color on the end of my palette, and I'm gonna use that as my highlight. This is really simple. <laughs> Sometimes when you do makeup, you're like, oh my gosh, this is so forever. So certain makeup looks are very simple. He has a lot of um highlight. I don't want a lot of highlight because I'm too dark with too much highlight. Just make sure that it looks put together and decent. And as you can see, I'm bringing that in here and here. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I'm looking in this one because I don't get it accurate. I don't get it accurate. Look like it doesn't look like here, like it looks in my little mirror. Here looks totally different than there. Like there looks darker, here looks like it's, it's actually blue, black, and silver. There looks like it's maybe like all black. <laughs> and which I hate that it does that. But I'm going to dab into another blue from my e.l.f. palette and just like put that right on top. Because this blue is more matted, so it may stand out a little bit more. That's it for the makeup, guys. Tell me if that wasn't simple. Simple, easy, and quick. Now I'm going to go in with my blue liner though. I'm going to use my blue liner from Wet n Wild. It's called Deep Blue. It's called Deep Blue. And now blue is a great color for brown eyes. I'm going to do the top and the bottom. <laughs> 